Hello, this is a little walkthrough of the PN2000 kilowatt meter. It offers many advantages over the competitor, the P3 kilowatt meter, and one of the reasons why I bought it. First, we're going to take a look at the manual, just so you guys can see what it offers. You can pause at any moment, go super slow. I did find a lack of the manual on the internet, so this will be easy. And this right here shows all, it's a class one ABS fireproofing, which is good. It does 16 amps, I don't know why, but it's another reason I bought it. Just it's one amp over 15 for those spikes my air conditioner causes. And yeah, so it comes with this little thing. The P3 does not come with this. This may be a little gimmick, but this is actually really helpful. I found myself using it all the time. Just gives you like a little extra. So instead of plugging into the wall or buying an extension cord, I can just plug it into here and get a little extra bit of room. Pretty thick cable. I'm sure it can handle more than a little bit of 15 amps. I don't know the gauge though. <laughs> This is a 200 volt wire. Yeah, don't see a gauge rating. Oh, it's a 14 gauge, so 15 amp wire. So first you end up on this watch, right? The LCD's on. If you hold down OK, this is the first setting, you can set a power limit. This doesn't cut off the power, it's not that advanced. So this is the second digit, I'm doing two, and I'm doing six here. What would happen is if you reach that limit, the th screen will flash and it'll say overload. It gets your attention. And it will also say it for this current. So under current, it will also flash and say overload, which I thought was really cool. On current, if you hold down set, you could turn off the LCD. What I'll do is it'll turn it off after about eh, five or 10 seconds of use. Like that. But I want to keep it on. It does barely uses any power. Uh, that's another gimmick. This thing has a backlit LCD. I thought it would be uh, a gimmick, but it's actually really helpful. It actually increases the viewing angle of anything. It also tells you voltage. Uh, because of this, I was able to find that we're getting a voltage drop because of the long wiring. This thing can help you diagnose stuff like that. I'm getting a good 120 volts right now. It tells you up to a tenth of a volt. Down here, frequency, uh, around 60 hertz. Not 100% stable, but it's, it's around there. Here is time. So CT stands for time. just tells you how long it's plugged in. And the cool thing is, even if you unplug it, and then plug it back in, it will still tell you the time. It saves things like that, unlike the P3. The P3 needs the fancier one. This tells you kilowatt hours. So if let's say you think something's running too much, like my mini fridge downstairs. Just plug it in overnight, and when you wake up, and the kilowatt hours this seems a bit high uh, than it should be. Like, let's say your fridge should be running around one kilowatt hour a day. We're just... We're just guessing here, right? Should be a little less than that, actually. And let's say this thing's showing three kilowatt hours after a 24 hour period, you're paying about 30 cents for that, depending on how much you're paying for your power. So, it can really help diagnose stuff like that. This is power factor. So, basically, how this works is it goes between 0 0.01 and 1. The higher the power factor, which you want it to be 1, means higher the efficiency. I don't exactly know what power factor really means technically, so you might have to do a little research on that, but the goal is you want it close to 1. And you got watt again. Uh, current, it goes to milliamp, but if you draw more than that, it will show a decimal and go up. And it does tenth of a watt. So let's plug something into it. This is an air conditioner unit. See, it's taking about four watts, the doors opening and closing, all right? And then we're going to turn it on, but we're just gonna have it set the fan. 
So right now it's showing 75 watts on low. Put this on high. Uh, about 92 watts and if we go down here it's about 776 milliamps or 0.7 amps and then our voltage is actually dropping a little bit you could see because our line has a voltage drop in it this thing was actually able to help me find it our frequency is still the same fluctuating between the two this time it's not going up much and then another feature is you can clear it Hold down set and clear. And same goes for the other option. Hold down and then clear. And if we go to watt, we still have our limit set. We're going to unplug it and plug it back in. And this thing has memory, so it will remember our limit as well. So yeah, this is the PN2000, and this is a little walkthrough if you don't know if you want to buy this. It's ABS fireproofing plastic. Never had this thing get warm at all after running 14 amps through it continuously, which is not recommended, but I've done it. And I have no issues. The only issue I have is that the outlet on this thing is a bit on the loose side. You know, it's a bit more loosey-goosey. But other than that, I have no problem with this. Uh, it takes... It, can easily take it apart it's just four screws uh, and I never and I like it it works so yeah this is the PN 2000 kilowatt meter thanks for watching